Dixon's Q test and make a conclusion to reject or retain the outlier. Here, number of samples are given and weight of the weight in grams also given. Okay, weight of the substances in grams given. Ten numbers, ten number of samples is here. Okay, and the weight also given. In this table, n equal to 10, number of samples equal to 10. We have to calculate the gap between the lowest values and largest values. Here, lowest values are, lowest value, that is the minimum value, 1.0067 and the next lowest value, 1.0173. Okay, we have to calculate the gap between these two lowest values. That is 1.0173 minus 1.0067 which is equal to 0 0.0106. Okay. Next we have to calculate the largest value gap. Okay. Largest value to the before largest value. Okay. 1.9765 is the largest value which minus 1.3233. It is equal to 0 0.6532. Two gaps we get. Okay. But the lowest value gap is very small. 0 0.0106. But the largest values gap is great. 0 0.6532. Large value. Large value gap is there. Okay. So we take that value as out layer. That is 1.9765 is the out layer. In this question, 1.9765 is the outlier. Okay. Large value gap is there. Next, we have to perform the Dixon Q test. Some steps are here. Step 1. States null and alternative hypothesis. Okay. Here, we get one outlier. That is 1.9765. Step 2. Test statistics. Ts. Okay. Qts equal to gap divided by range. Gap means the large value gap. We get the outlier 1.9765. That gap 0 0.6532. Okay. Now 1.9765 minus 1.3233. Then we get Qts. Range is the difference between maximum and minimum value difference. Okay, difference of the maximum and minimum value. Maximum value is the 1.976y and the minimum value is 1.0067. So, QTS equal to gap divided by range which is equal to 0.6735. Okay, step 3, critical value, CE. Critical value, we have to find out the critical value. Okay. Alpha equal to significance. Alpha means the significance equal to 0 0.05. That is 5 percentage. Already defined. Okay. Next. Here n equal to 10. Number of samples equal to 10. And for n equal to 10. Alpha equal to significance equal to 0 0.466. For the significance table. We get that value from the significance table. Okay, for n equal to 1, n equal to 2, and n equal to here, n equal to 10. So, alpha equal to 0 0.466. Okay, then we have to check if the T is greater than C. Here, T is equal to 0 0.6735, which is greater than the C B value, right? C B equal to 0 0.466. Okay, 0 0.6735 greater than 0 0.466. That is T is greater than C B. Okay, yes. If it is yes, that is reject the outlier. If it is yes, reject the outlier. If it is no, return the outlier. Here, we reject the outlier. Okay, it is greater than C.